All right, so checking out what's happening around Arizona today. There's always a lot going on. Oh, yeah. Connect to STEM 2017 taking place at the University of Arizona College of Medicine. It's a free event focused on inspiring kids about science, technology, engineering, math, and medicine. Tom Fergus is checking it out for us this morning. How's it going out there, Tom? Yeah, good morning, ladies. You know, whenever a student is around something that inspires them, you never know what could happen. I have a friend of mine who's a helicopter pilot, and a helicopter from a local station landed at his school, and he looked at that and he said, you know what, that's what I want to do. And that's what they're trying to do with this Connect to STEM. And look who's joining me, the pride of Ball State, Elson 02. <laughs> hey, <now. laughs> So what year is this, and how many kids are you hoping to have down here? So this is our third year. The Cox Communications and the University of Arizona have hosted Connect to STEM, and we want to see as many young people as we can possibly squeeze in the building today. Well, let's try and show as much as we can to the audience today. Now, what am I looking at here? You, you were saying to me earlier that a lot of these, uh, the devices you're using are the ones they use here at the medical school. We basically turned our medical school inside out for the community to experience today. So this is a 3G mannequin. He can talk, bleed, breathe, sweat, cry. And so we'll get him powered up and let kids touch all over him and ask him questions. Sounds like the perfect date. He just doesn't like to talk back. It's perfect. He looks like that because that's how the med students have been treating him the last few years. So. <laughs> now, this is your daughter, Amel, and look at her. She's got the Mac Daddy coat. Amel, what do you want to do when you get older? I want to be a doctor and Why? I... Why? Because I get to help kids and grown-ups. Well, that's really cool. Plus, you get to wear that cool white coat. I love that. Now, what are you working on? She's got some guts coming out here. Yes, yeah, so she's a doctor in training, so we're still working on her surgery skills, as you can see. But this is another mannequin that we, uh, our medical students and nursing students used to train on. Now, what are we doing here? I love this as well. Again, this is one of those things where kids says, hey, I think being an eye doctor would be awesome. What do you, how, how do you do it? Well, yeah, this is a, a trainer for students to be able to, to check and see if a patient maybe has glaucoma or other diseases. But another facet of this event is for young people to look at the engineering the technology that takes place to be a doctor. So you're a doctor, you're a scientist, you're an IT specialist. Okay, it's getting kind of disgusting over here. What am I looking at here? This well, is disgusting, but this is a big thing. Kids really groove on this. Th this is a really big deal. These are actually pig hearts and cow eyeballs, and uh, this was a highlight of the event last year, so we brought them back. But yes, you have to be a med school to have real anatomy gr parts around here that are a little bit gross. Let's right? talk about what STEM stands for. Science, technology, engineering, and math, but since we're the med school, we say medicine as well. Yeah, now math, you know, I got out of math when they started using letters. Wasn't that like the birth of engineering? <laughs> I mean, I can't stand math, but this might inspire them because you're doing so many fun things. Well, you know what? You and I both have PR degrees, and we're wrapped around science in one way or the other, right? So yeah. even though we might not have a degree in science, we can be wrapped around science, and that's kind of the point today for young people to think about, too. Give me the nuts and bolts. We're here at the northeast corner of Van Buren, and Fifth Street and how, when will this start because kids can still sign up this morning yes absolutely so the event is from 10 to 3 and we want to encourage families to come out have fun uh, they can get registered at www.connect the number two stem.com very cool guys the pride of Ball State there Allison look at this before we leave I just want to show you this this is like remote surgery so imagine the doctor is over here all right working on this unit here but the patient is over there. So could you just imagine like a specialist in Denmark working on you here in Phoenix? It could happen sometime down the line, but it's the neatest thing. And again, this will just inspire so many kids. You can still sign up. So if you're at home and your kid's watching this and they're into science, get them down here because they'll really have a lot of fun and they get to meet a lot of other patients, you know, uh, med students and things like that. It's a, it's a good introduction and you know, Courtney, this is a University of Arizona deal, so I'm, I imagine you might come down here as well. <laughs> Tom. Alma mater, right? I need a bear down from you. Don't do it, Tom. <laughs> Don't down. do it. Here we go. Woo! Oh, there it is. Today's going to be a big bear down day. <laughs> Love it. Congrats Great job out there. Thank you, Tom. Thanks.